I'm back in the tub again, making another vlog, as I do. Um, last time I went severely over 10 minutes and I couldn't upload it to YouTube, and I'm pretty sure nobody actually downloaded it for Mega Upload, so I'm gonna keep it under 10 minutes this time, so none of you have to actually go through any trouble to watch me, you can just stream it, and everything will work out just fine for everybody. Um, I get to be a camera whore and get some attention, and you get to see me be mildly entertaining for 10 minutes. Uh, so everybody wins, basically. Um, I'm supposed to be watching True Blood, but I didn't know what time True Blood came on. I thought it came on at 10, it comes on at 9 and 11.30. So I'm taking a bath, waiting for True Blood. Uh, I got an hour and a half, I'm just kicking it. Um, I just finished watching Sherlock. Jesus fucking Christ, what was that? I fucking... I really, really, really hate cliffhangers. I hate it when a show leaves just for a couple of months. I hate it when a show leaves for, like, the summer break on a cliffhanger. And they haven't even... Have they even... I don't think they've even officially ordered a second season of Sherlock yet. Um, I mean, everybody knows it's going to happen because it's so wildly popular. I mean, it's been doing amazingly good in the ratings and everything. It's going to happen, but it's going to take, like, a year, and that is far too long for me to wait to find out what happens, and just, Jesus Christ, seriously? Seriously, that's how they're gonna leave it? Just, fuck. 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 That's basically my reaction. Fuck. Um, it was an excellent episode, though. Oh my god, it was so good. Um, up until that last 15 seconds. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay. I'm not going to talk about it, I'm not going to spoil anybody, I just had to get that off my chest. Jesus fucking Christ, what the fuck was that? Um, I'm going to make a spoilery vlog talking about it, and I think like three people on my friends list have actually seen it at this point, but I know a couple of you are planning on watching it, so maybe I'll come back and watch my vlog and see what I have to say about it. Um, I doubt it, honestly. Uh, but I'm a camera whore, and I'll do it anyway, because I like the chance of possibly having somebody watch me, even if nobody says anything. Um, and you should all comment if you're watching this, because really, I thrive on comments that make me happy. Uh, and a happy Danny is a good Danny, and a good Danny doesn't do things like mope around incessantly whining for more attention on her life journal. So if you give me attention, then I won't ask you for more attention. It works, see? So just say something. Even just say hi. Seriously, just let me know you're out there. Because I like knowing. And okay, that's three minutes I've wasted uh, talking about nothing at all. So I asked people to tell me what to talk about. Okay, shut up. I had Florence and the Machine on. I love Florence and the Machine. I really love them. They're such a good band. Uh, I asked people to tell me what to talk about. And I had two people give me suggestions. So, um, Morse Flower, that's Heather, said Martin Freeman and Simon Pegg compare and contrast. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm not very good at this. Uh, Martin Freeman is three inches shorter and one year younger than Simon Pegg. They've both been in some of my favorite uh, sci-fi franchises ever. Martin Freeman played Arthur Dent, who is, like, one of my favorite literary characters ever to be written, uh, in the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy movie. And Martin Freeman played, not Martin Freeman, um, Simon Pegg played Scotty in the Star Trek film, and also he did Shaun of the Dead, which is just fucking incredible, and Hot Fuzz, which is not sci-fi, but, uh, also excellent movie. I actually think I like Hot Fuzz slightly more than I like Shaun of the Dead, which is an unpopular opinion. But they're both excellent films, so I don't know what people are bitching about. Uh, it's my opinion, goddammit, and I'll hold it if I want to. Um, I like the buddy cop thing, okay? I'm not- honestly? Honestly? Hand to God? I don't like zombies. Uh, my roommate, Kristen, back when we were roommates, uh, Kristen loved zombies. Kristen, oh, all about the zombies. And she would watch zombie movies, as she does, and, uh, I would- be sitting around in the in the in the apartment uh, while she's watching these, and I would watch or not as the mood struck me. And generally, it was not. Um, there are two zombie movies I can stand. One of them is Shaun of the Dead, uh, which is very gruesome actually for a comedy. It's quite gory. Um, and the other one is Twenty Eight Days Later. I really like Twenty Eight Days Later. I fucking 
hated 28 Weeks Later. I have walked out of two movies in the theaters. One of them, I think, was... It had Heath Ledger in it. It was about a priest. It might have been called Priest. I'm not sure. Um, but... Uh, what, what pissed me off about that? The priest had an affair with some lady, and I, I don't know why that bothered me as much as it did, but it really pissed me off. And I walked out, and I didn't actually realize that I was on a date. So I walked out on my date, and he was very unhappy with me, and I completely didn't even realize that we were dating. I thought we were seeing the movie as friends. So uh, that completely killed any chance of that romantic entanglement ever happening, which... <laughs> wasn't really a bad thing because I wasn't attracted to him. He was a sweet guy, but, uh, not, uh, he, he was a very good friend of one of my ex-boyfriends and that was enough to keep me from being interested in him. Uh, never date your ex-boyfriend's friends. Only pain lies that way. I've almost made that mistake twice. N never again. Never, never again. Um, what else? What was I talking about? Zombie movies? Sci-fi movies? Uh, Martin Freeman and Simon Pegg. Uh, what else has Simon Pegg done? I'm trying to think. I don't want to have to look it up on the IMDb, because that feels like cheating, and I don't really have that much time left. Um, but I have to, because honestly I can't remember. I know he's been in other things I've seen. Uh, he was in Space, which I haven't seen yet. Um, no, I don't need that. No, no. Uh, the last person I looked up was Brandon Routh, just so people know, uh, because my mother pointed at the trailer for Scott Pilgrim and said, hey, it's that guy that was on Chuck. And I said, no, it isn't. And she said, yes, it is. He's just blonde. And I said, you're full of shit. So I looked it up and she was right. Um, and I was humiliated. Uh, hold on a second. Typing. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, oh, he was also in Run, Fat Boy, Run, which I had downloaded and never got around to watching. Um, I don't know why, because I really like Simon Pegg. I like basically everything I've ever seen him in. Uh, no, I haven't. He was in the leak. No, that's something else. Uh, no, that's basically all I've seen him in. Uh, and I do, I do like him. I've, I've really enjoyed everything I've seen him in. Uh, I wouldn't call him one of my favorite actors, but I definitely like him. And... No, I can't type with my thumb. Not Mary. Hold on a second. Mary. Okay. There we go. Oh, Martin Freeman was also in Hot Fuzz. Uh, so, and he was in Shaun, he was in Shaun of the Dead. He was, uh, when Shaun and his pals were walking past and they saw that chick that he said hello to and she had her entourage, Martin Freeman played her boyfriend. So he was supposed to be the, uh, the parallel to Simon Pegg there. So that's entertaining. Oop, no, go back. Um... And of course, obviously, Martin Freeman's in Sherlock, which I fucking absolutely adore every minute of, uh, I know people had some criticisms about the second episode, uh, it didn't bother me as much because I'm not racially sensitive, I guess? Uh, I mean, I can see where they, where, where they did things that probably were incorrect and shouldn't have been done, but it didn't keep me from enjoying the episode. Which, I guess, makes me insensitive and possibly a bad person, but I'm not all that worried about it. Um, oh, he was in The Office, which I've never seen the British version of. Uh, I've heard that the British version is better than the uh, American version, and honestly, I fucking hate the American version. I can't stand it. I watched a couple of episodes and it bored the fuck out of me. Uh, although I do like Steve Carell, so figure that out. Um, and, and now I'm coming up on 10 minutes, so I'm going to end this, and I'm going to do another one. So stay right here.